In our previous video, we saw all the things that you would need like the hardware, software and skills required to get started with VR development. In this video, we'll be taking a step further and creating an application for the VR headsets. So in today's video, we'll see how to download and install Unity Editor, import all the required packages, set up a scene for VR and build and test it onto our headset. A quick disclaimer, for this video, we'll be using the MetaQuest devices. But since we are using Unity's XR package and OpenXR plugins, you can build and test it on any VR headset that supports OpenXR. Alright, so with that being said, let's get started. The game engine of our choice today is Unity. It's a very powerful tool that lets you create games and experiences. And the main reason for choosing this in 2025 is because most of the upcoming SDK is supported by Unity. Take Android XR for example. And also, Unity has a huge community which comes in handy when you're stuck somewhere and you're seeking some answers. So to download Unity, head to unity.com, click on download and download Unity Hub for your OS. After that, follow the install instruction and open it up. So this is how Unity Hub will look like. Unity Hub basically lets you see all your projects in one place and manage them. It gives you access to a bunch of tutorials inside the Learn tab and provides you link to the latest resources as well. It also lets you install different version of Unity Editor and that's what we want to do right now. Head to the Installs tab and click on Install Editor. Here, we want to install Unity 6, which is the latest long-term support version out right now. The last two digits don't matter too much, but make sure that you're installing Unity 6. So click on the install button and here, make sure to check Android build support, open JDK, Android SDK, NDK tools, and scroll down and select Windows build support IL2 CPP. Now these modules will allow us to build our app for both standalone and PC VR headsets. Then click on continue, agree to the terms and condition and install the editor. Now it's going to take a while for it to get downloaded. So in the meantime, we can download some other softwares that we'll need. To make our lives easier, we have tools or softwares that allows us to test our application directly from the unit editor onto a headset without having to build the application every single time. Now we could use SteamVR which is a popular tool but since we are developing for MetaQuest devices, things become much easier if we just use the MetaQuest Link app. So head to the link given below and download this application. After installing, navigate inside Settings, General and here make sure to allow unknown sources and set MetaQuest link as the active OpenXR runtime. Then go inside beta and here make sure to enable developer runtime features, pass through over MetaLink and spatial data over MetaQuest link. Now if you are using the MetaQuest Pro, then you can even enable the eye tracking and natural facial expression. Then go inside devices and click on add headset. Now you can connect your headset using link or air link. You can choose either one of them and click on continue and set it up. Once you have your device set up, you should be able to see that it's connected and active. To be able to build application onto a headset, we need to enable the developers mode. For that, you need to download the Meta Horizon app, then navigate inside your profile, click on the hamburger menu, go inside devices, Select your device, click on headset settings, developers mode and here enable the developer mode. Alright, so with that we have all the development tools set up. Alright, so here we are back with Unity Hub. Once you have your Unity editor installed, you can navigate inside projects, create a new project, make sure that you've selected the right editor version and from the templates you can either select universal 3D core or 3D built in render pipeline. Now the universal 3D render pipeline gives us better flexibility when it comes to graphics. So let's select that, give your project a name and create the project. Once you have your project open, this is how it will look like with different windows that have different functionality. For example, you can use the hierarchy window to see the different game objects that are present in your scene. The scene view displays the game object that's present and the game view will display what is seen from the main camera. Then we have the inspector window. Now this can be used to check the different component that's attached to the game object. For example, the main camera has the camera component, the audio listener and universal additional camera data. Similarly, if you check the direction light, it has the direction light and another component. 
Then we have the project window which can be used to import your asset and keep a track of all the files and folders that are there. And finally we have the console window which will be used to lock errors or warnings. Now based on your personal preference you can select these windows and move them around and place them as you like. Now generally this is how I like my layout. Alright so the first step here is to choose your platform. Navigate inside file, build profiles and now if you're building for PC VR then you can stay on windows. However, if you're building for standalone headsets then you can select Android and switch the platform. Once that's done you can close this window and now to install the required packages navigate inside windows package manager. Select unity registry, scroll all the way down to find XI interaction toolkit and install this package. Then Select XR plugin management and install this as well. Now depending on your headset, if it has hand tracking features, then you can select XR hands and install this package or else you can ignore it. Alright, so with that we have all the packages that we need. Now let's import some of the samples that comes along with these packages. So you can select XR interaction toolkit, click on the samples tab and import the starter assets and the XR device simulator. Now the rest of the packages are optional. While installing the sample packages, you might get the project validation pop-up listing some of the issues. Go ahead and fix all of them. Then you can go inside player settings and change the default company name. Scroll down, uncheck override default package name and check it once again to make sure that it has the right company name here. Next select XR plugin management and here you need to check open XR as the plugin provider. Now if you are on the android tab then make sure to select the pc tab and check open XR here as well. Without this you will not be able to test it onto your headset directly from the unity editor. Then select open XR. Now here we need to add the interaction profiles based on your VR headset. Now since I am using the MetaQuest devices, I will click on the plus symbol and add Oculus Touch Controller Profile, MetaQuest Touch Pro Controller Profile, Hand Interaction Profiles and the MetaQuest Touch Plus Controller Profile. Now since MetaQuest devices support hand tracking, I need to add some of the OpenXR feature groups as well like Hand Interaction Poses, Hand Tracking Subsystem and Meta Hand Tracking A. Next, we'll have to do the same steps inside the Android tab as well. But here, there's one more feature that we need to enable and that's the MetaQuest support. And for the last few steps, you can select project validation and here you'll see that there are two new issues and we can fix all of them once again. Now, if you're using the 3D core render pipeline instead of universal render pipeline, then there's one additional setting you need to configure and that is to go inside OpenXR and change the render mode from single pass multi view to multi pass. But why are we doing this? It's because in this project we are using shader graph and shader graph does not support single pass instantiated rendering. Alright so with that we have our project set up. Now let's see how to set up our scene. First I'll show you how to set up the XR rig manually and then later I'll show you how you can use an existing prefab. So select the main camera and delete it. We don't need the global volume as well so you can delete that. Then right click on your hierarchy, navigate inside XR and select XR origin VR. Now this adds a game object called XR origin with the XR origin component which is meant to track your headset. And then inside this game object we have two child objects. One is the camera offset and the main camera. Now inside the main camera it has the camera component and the track pose driver. So now this is actually the component that tracks your headset. Now to track the controllers we need to create two empty game objects. Call it as left controller and right controller. Then select both left and right controller and add the track post driver input system component. Then select the left controller and for the position input, rotation input and tracking state input. For all the three we want to use reference so you can click on this button and select use reference. And here click on the circle select button, search for position and select XRI left position. Similarly for rotation you can click on this button, search for rotation and select XRI left rotation. Do the same for tracking state input. Now select the right controller repeat the same step but this time make sure to reference the xri right now these two components will let us track the left and right controller but in order to see the controllers visually in the project window you need to search for xr controller select the xr controller left drag and drop it inside left controller select the right controller and drag and drop it in here then Save your scene, put on your headset and enable the link. Once you have Oculus link ready, you can press the play button. And now your headset and your controllers should be tracked. Now if you want to track your hands, then create two more empty objects as a child of camera offset and call them as left hand and right hand. 
Then in the project window, search for hand tracking, select left hand tracking, drag and drop it inside left hand and select right hand tracking and drag and drop it inside right hand. Now these two prefabs have been set up with all the components required to track your headset and also to see them visually. Now if your hand looks pink, you can navigate inside left hand, select left hand game object and here you will be able to find the default hands material. Select it, select this material from the project window and then navigate inside edit, rendering, materials and click on convert selected built-in render materials to URP and that should fix the pink material issue. And now you can select the left and right controllers, disable it and press the play button. And this time your headset and your hands will be tracked. Now if you're wondering if you can use both controllers and hands together, then yes you can. Go ahead and enable left and right controller once again. But we need to set this up in such a way that when controller is grabbed, hands are not seen and when hands are tracked, controllers are not seen. And to do that, you can select XR origin and add the component XR input modality manager. Now here we need to reference the left hand, right hand. So let's do that. And then below that, we need to reference the left controller and right controller. All right, now when you save the scene and press play, here you'll see that the hands are tracked. And then when you grab the controllers, it automatically switches to controllers. And then when you put down your controllers, your hands are detected almost instantaneously. All right, now that you know how to set up an XR origin from scratch, I'll show you how you can use a prefab so that you don't have to set this up every single time. So navigate inside samples, XR interaction toolkit, the version, starter assets, prefabs, and here you'll be able to find the XR origin XR rig. You can select this and drag and drop it in your scene. Now if we compare these two game objects, you'll see that it has some additional prefabs like the poke interactor, near fire interactor, teleporter and the locomotion system. However, you might notice that the left hand and right hand are missing. So if you want a prefab that includes both left and right controller, navigate inside assets, samples, XR interaction toolkit, the version, hand interaction demo, prefabs, and here you'll be able to find XR origin hands XR rig. So if you select this and add it to your scene, you'll see that this comes along with both the controllers and the hands. All right, so let's select the XR origin that we created initially and delete it. Select the XR origin XR rig and delete that as well. Now we can right click on the hierarchy, navigate inside XR, and add teleportation area. Now make sure to reset its position. Now this game object comes along with a plane and the teleportation area component that allows you to teleport. In this component, you need to make sure to select the interaction layer from default to nothing and select teleport. Then you can save your scene and press play. And now you can use your right controller thumbstick and push forward to activate the teleportation ray and it faces the direction in which you are looking. And once you release the thumbstick, you get teleported to that region. Then you can use your thumbstick left to turn towards left and right to turn towards right. Now at the same time, you can use your left controller for continuous locomotion, like as you see here. All right, now that we have set up our scene and tested it from the Unity editor, it's very important for us to test it inside our headset as well. So to build an application onto a headset, you can navigate inside file, build profiles, Make sure that the sample scene has been added to the scene list. If not, you can click on open scenes and click on add open scene. Then navigate back to Android, click on build and run. Create a new folder called as builds. Give your file a name and click on save. Alright, it took about 10 minutes for it to build onto my headset. But depending upon your computer configuration, it might take lesser or more. But as you can see here, my headset is tracked and my hands are tracked as well. Now, if I grab the controllers, my controllers are tracked and now I can use my left joystick to move around and the right joystick to teleport. All right, so if you're able to set up your project, build it onto your headset and make sure that your head, hands and controller movements are tracked, 50% of your work is done. Now, the next step is to learn to add different type of interactions like grab interaction, ray interaction and poke interaction. If you're interested to learn these type of interactions, we have a dedicated video which you can check out over here or the link in the description below. And that's it for this video. Thank you so much for watching. Make sure to like and subscribe and I will see you in the next one.